Now, one of the coolest features in Unreal 5 is Nanite technology. But unfortunately, you really can't Nanite everything, like trees and grass. But luckily, in this version of Unreal Engine 5, 5.1, Nanite Trees is now an experimental face. So I downloaded some trees off of the marketplace so I can kind of demonstrate and see what this looks like. This is some pretty exciting stuff. Now, first off, big thanks to Dylan because I could not get this to work at first, so I hit him up. Uh, he told me to go ahead and change the project settings to SM6 instead of SM5. So I have that checked off right here. And then what we'll do is just go ahead and drag, you know, one at a time. I'll drag this one first. And if I double click this, and I have this on my other monitor, so go ahead and pull this back. You're going to see that this is at LOD zero, vertice is 135,000. And if I pull back, you're going to start seeing the LOD change and that vertice really shrink down. So with Nanite technology, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Because if, as you can see right here, if I change this to three, meaning this is the most furthest distance, right? It's just like a piece of card, you know? Look at that, it's cheating. But, but let me show you what happens if I go ahead and turn Nanite on in this mesh. So I'll go right here and I'll save this. It's gonna do its thing. And there's a bug right now, save it right now. There's a bug. It's not working unless I go out and go back in. Again, this is pretty experimental stuff. Pretty much not ready, but it's still cool to see it. So if I right click this, okay, so now it's good. And if I go back in there, you're gonna see that Nanite is now enabled. And if I get back, you're gonna see that our screen size is changing, but our triangles is staying the same, 135,000. But that is really, the power of Nanite. Additionally, what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and drag all of the trees here. Let me go ahead and drag the rest of the trees and I'll just drag it and drop it here. And then what I'll do is go to Tools, Audit, Statistics. And you're gonna see our file size right here. Make this bigger. And you're gonna see this file size, right? 310 thousand kilobytes right so maybe that's 310 megs if i did that math correctly so pay attention to this number now and this is everything all the static mesh in our scene and i'll minimize this for now if i nanite everything and again i was going to make sure that it's good all right so that's good and then one way to check their nano is if i go to lit nanite visualizations and i go to triangles oh yeah they're definitely a nanite. So I'll kind of scroll in there and let's pull that statistics back. Refresh. And now you see the size of this thing shrink. And again, in my opinion, this would be great for video games <laughs> because you are still getting all of that quality from the trees, but it's compressed and you don't have to worry about pop-ups or culling whatever you want to call it. That is crazy. Now this, I don't even, I wouldn't call this high quality trees, but eventually what I'm hoping for is one day we're going to have some really high quality poly trees in the marketplace so we can nanite. And again, the quality of that would be insane. And again, open world games is never going to be the same. And I read some crazy statistics. Apparently, 50% or more video games that are being developed right now are being developed in Unreal Engine 5 because honestly, this technology is pretty darn bananas. And it really makes sense now because last year when I made the Nanite video, Hideo Kojima commented on my video and I was like, what is going on? Well, it's because people were actually researching what Unreal 5 was all about. And now, almost all the major studios are swapping over from Witcher, Gears of War, Final Fantasy 7-2 is going to be in UE5. And actually, another thing in 5.1 is nanoiding landscape, which I'm going to try and see if I can get it to work because it's... As far as I know, it's a little bit more wonkier than Nanite Trees. But imagine Nanite Landscape. How much 
space you're going to save and how much quality you can get. So a couple of months ago, Epic created a video about polygons don't count anymore because you can nanite static mesh. Well, now you can nanite trees too. Just think about that for a second. If you all have any questions, let me know. And please, please, please like this video and subscribe. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers this year and I need your help. What do y'all think about nanite trees? I think it's freaking cool.